what we're hoping for and what we're um, we're asking the government to do is to give some clarity as to that law. The government will have to publish guidance uh, to accompany uh, that legislation. Right now, it bans any form of influence outside an abortion facility. And, and as you and I know, when you don't have clarity in the law with words like influence, that can mean expanded to mean anything in the world. It could you know, be prayer, mm -hmm. a, a quiet conversation with a friend. Uh, we just don't know what influence means. And it means it could uh, you know, really have a, a serious worrying impact on freedom of thought and freedom of speech. So, so we're hoping the government will publish guidance that, that really entrenches um, that police officers should never uh, be interfering in freedom of thought. Freedom of thought is ab an absolute right in international law. And it's really the fundamental basis that makes us free citizens is having the right to hold our own thoughts in our head. The authorities, no government has the right to tell us what we have to think about anything and simply holding an opinion that is contrary to the government on abortion is not a crime. And um, we also want to see this protected because, you know, today it's pro-lifers, but if we're introducing these buffer zones and this idea that you can criminalize thought on one mm -hmm. topic, who knows what it's going to be tomorrow? And that's why we're trying to reach yeah, out. I mean, you know.